Good afternoon. Welcome to beautiful sunny Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm Brian Tuttle with Carolina Aircraft here today to show you our latest listing, this beautiful 1973 A36 Bonanza November 1870 Whiskey. Let's take a closer look. November 1870 Whiskey is a gorgeous 1973 A36. It's one of the nicest ones that we've ever seen. Uh, total time is about 4,560 hours since new. The engine is the IO550B 300 horsepower that currently has 1,710 hours since new. Uh, it was topped with new cylinders about 1,000 hours ago, right around 750 hours total time. Uh, oil consumption is low and compressions at the last annual were very good. November 1870 Whiskey has the IO550 300 horsepower engine. You can see here it has the DeShannon baffling system on it as well. Again, this engine was topped at uh, about a thousand hours ago. All the compressions were very good at the last annual, which was December of last year. Um, this also has the gross weight increase. This airplane has a useful load of 1,430 pounds, which is probably the highest one that we've ever seen. Uh, also included is this beautiful three blade scimitar prop and it has the polished spinner as well. The paint for November 1870 Whiskey is in absolutely beautiful condition. Overall Matterhorn white. It has the Aristo blue, deep red, and Las Vegas gold striping. This was redone in 2004. The airplane has been hangered ever since and it is in beautiful condition. I think we're rating this at least an eight plus to a nine. The elevator on November 1870 Whiskey is in beautiful condition. No corrosion on it at all, no, none of the filiform corrosion. Everything looks very nice back here. November 1870 Whiskey has the dual cargo doors in the back along with the club seating. The interior is one of the nicest that you'll see on any airplane on the market today. Let's take a closer look. The interior on November 1870 Whiskey is absolutely gorgeous. It has the Beechcraft two-tone leather seating, the suede headliner, very nice side panels and side walls with the high gloss wood. All the windows are in great shape. Uh, it's kind of warm here in Greensboro today, so I've got the rear windows open, a lot of ventilation coming through here. Uh, you know, I'm six foot two, 220 pounds. I've got plenty of room back here. I've got lots of leg room, lots of head room. Uh, it's just like sitting in an easy chair in my living room. November 1870 Whiskey has a very nice instrument panel that has been well updated. Let's take a closer look. Starting on the left hand side of the instrument panel, we have a Davtron DVOR that works, airspeed indicator. We have the very nice Aspen. Pro 1000 primary flight display, our altimeter, vertical speed indicator, standby attitude indicator, our electric turn coordinator. We also have an outside air temperature gauge as well. Just below is our control head for our KFC 200 autopilot that connects very well with the Aspen. It has GPS steering included as well. In the middle of the instrument panel we have our manifold pressure and fuel flow gauge. Uh, to the right of this is the Horizon digital tachometer. Below you have your standard Beechcraft fuel gauges and temperature and pressure gauges. Just to the left is the JPI 700 engine monitor. This has the downloadable capability to pull all the information from the engine readings. And to the right we have a mini Shaden fuel float. Just below that is our avionics master. And as you can see we have a very nice dual yoke by Signet with dual push to talks and a yoke mounted Garmin 496 with Nexrad XM weather and XM music. November 1870 Whiskey has a very nice instrument panel. Uh, starting at the top, we have the Apollo SL15 audio panel with marker. Just below, you'll see the Apollo MX20 
multifunction display. This has your primary map for IFR and VFR. Uh, it also has terrain and your XM weather as well. Uh, chart capability as well. I don't think the owner has it activated right now, but it does have chart view. Um, below this, you have your Apollo CNX-80 uh, GPS. This was the first WASP capable GPS in the country. Uh, Garmin bought out Apollo in 2001, so these were later known as the uh, Garmin 480. Uh, below that, we have the KX-155 second Navcom and the KT-76 transponder. Up top, we have a very nice vertical card compass. The glare shield is nice, leather wrapped. It's in beautiful condition. Again, all the windows have been replaced, uh, all in very good condition. No um, crazing, no star lighting at all. Very nice. Uh, you can see here we have uh, the Rosen sun visors as well. If you're in the market for a 70s vintage A36, come to Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Carolina Aircraft, to see this beautiful 1973 A36 November 1870 Whiskey. This is without a doubt the nicest A36 of this vintage in the country. It has approximately 4,560 hours total, 1,715 hours on an IO550B engine. It does have the gross weight increase and a useful load of 1,430 pounds. The paint and interior are unmatched for an aircraft of this vintage. I think we're rating them at least an 8.5 to a 9. Great avionics inside with an Aspen Pro 1000 and a WASP certified GPS with MX-20. The interior is the two-tone beach leather. It's in gorgeous condition. Again, Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Carolina Aircraft. You can see us on the web at www.carolinaaircraft.com or call us at 336-665-0300. I'm Brian Tuttle. Thank you and have a great day.